Whoa. Okay. This is creepy. What is this on the floor? Some medicine. Trash bag. Yeah, this is 100% creepy. You got like this like pile of uh, like blood on the floor. You got a brain on the tray. You've got a cot with like this lamp that's just like directly over it. Those look like body bags. Oh man. What's happening everyone? It's Abdallah here back again with another dream address visit in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm actually slightly afraid of this one today. <laughs> oh my gosh. So some of you guys may have heard of Silent Hill. A game series that's been around for ages by Konami. There's countless, countless video game series, spin-offs, all that stuff. I personally have not played those games because I'm super afraid of scary games, but I've seen a couple videos online of like the top 10 scariest Silent Hill moments, and after I've seen those videos, I'm super afraid to record this right now. So don't watch this before you go to bed. Anyway. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Uh, we're going to continue on with even more of these dream addresses. They're so easy to just visit and have a fun time with it. So I hope that you guys enjoy them. If you guys have not seen our previous two videos, right over here we visited a Pokemon Island. And of course the infamous Cannibal Island was something that you guys enjoyed too. I don't know, do you guys like me getting scared? I don't know, I'm a, I'm a baby when it comes to this stuff. But anyway, let's jump on in. And as usual, we go in 100% blind and we try to figure it out along the way. So, the backup context I have from Silent Hill is that it's an area, and in every installment, there's new people that go into it. There's crazy looking monsters, there's dreams, there's mirrors, there's just a lot of bad, weird, creepy, eerie stuff. So, and with that, may your dream of Silent Hill be a sweet one. Okay. Here we go. So right off the bat, oh my gosh, the heavy rainstorms is like absolutely fitting for this. Because in the Silent Hill games, there is a lot of like visibility reduction via smoke, fog, etc. So I'm not really sure what a possum is all about, but um, yeah, super scary. Welcome to Silent Hill. Please have a wonderful nightmare. Residents of Silent Hill, unfortunately my clinic will be clo closed indefinite. And then someone says, I don't want to leave. Ah. <laughs> a little creepy. A little creepy. All right. I presume that this is the way to Silent Hill. All right. Uh, well, oh my gosh. What is that? Hold on. Okay, someone's lost belongings. Welcome to Silent Hill. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the entrance, right? Someone lost their belongings. They've got muse, creepy little. Oh my gosh, I see someone in the back over there. That's probably like Raymond or something. Okay, so we see a little doll and a little summoning uh, little circle there. What do we have here? This looks like. Your average graveyard? Okay. Nothing too spooky. I mean, how spooky can you get on the outside? Aside from, like, zipper T bunny, like, little pictures over here. Um, I kind of want to look at the map really quick just to see exactly what this layout is, right? So, uh, you've got Ram, you got Anon, Dr. Kaufman, you got uh, Gourmet. All right, well, there's four different houses. We'll definitely take a look at the four houses today. So, let's just kind of look over here. Okay, so it's just some shops, whatever, they're closed, who cares? Is it getting creepy for you? I don't know. Alright, I like this. I like this outside. This exterior looks pretty cool. Got some more gravestones, alright. Pathway looks decent. This doesn't really lead to much. Someone walking around, let's, let's hop across and see what's up. Little bugs. Oh my goodness, what is that? Is 
So it appears that there are some bloody, uh, bloody blankets. And then, yeah, that's a little creepy, a little blood splatter. And then this is the uh, the famous scream painting. Is that what I'm looking at here? If I move my head out of the way. And then what is that on the ground? It looks like a possum drawn. I don't. I have no idea. Is that supposed to be creepy? Okay, so that's a campsite. All right, interesting. Cool. Uh, right over here is a campsite. There's some rocks. A little blood splatter. I mean, that's that's okay. <laughs> All right, interesting. It's just uh, yeah, some random stuff. Oh my gosh, that person's missing an eye. You got another lost notebook here. What was this again? Oh, dang a ticket. Oh dang, that's actually kind of creepy. We haven't seen anything like that before, like a blood-stained shirt. Just being out to dry. Wow, little spooky. Oh my goodness, hello. Ah, oh my goodness, what happened to you? What happened to your dress and your face? You got some cuts? I think, oh my gosh. All right, well, that's interesting. It appears that there's some bloody boots. Over this way, there's also some rotten turnips, and it looks like decapitated heads. And some more little circles, all pentagrams. Okay. I don't know what the rotten turnips are for. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, uh, what? Uh, there's a little splatter by the doghouse. Okay, well, let's, let's go inside. I, I don't remember whose house this is supposed to be, but... So there's a... <laughs> wow, okay, that's creepy. Hold on, that, that handprint on the fridge? How do you even do that? I didn't know you can even put custom designs on a fridge. That's super scary. This brain on a plate, oh my gosh. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Cracked laptop screen. Oh my god. I've never seen a brain on a plate like that before. That is so scary All right, well, we'll go over here and we see like this little allusions to this Pink bunny. I don't know getting little five nights at Freddy's vibes off of this Okay, I mean, nothing too scary. That portrait in the top corner looks a little creepy. Nothing too out of the ordinary. I mean, it's your average weird looking house, sure. Oh no. All right, so. It shows security cameras. You've got uh, you got some kerosene, got some gasoline. You got all these different trash bags and trash. A picture of Raymond, and then a jail cell. I don't know why the jail cell would be there if it's just filled with trash bags and like a little candlelit uh, ceremony for uh, that little villager. Is that fauna? I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments. <laughs> Okay, this looks like uh, some sort of bathroom. Some sort of jail bathroom. All right. Eh, it's a little blood stain on the floor. Nothing too crazy. I don't know, I'm not, not too scared of that. This though? Oh dang, that's a Ouija board. 
Oh, this is a little creepy. All right, so I haven't seen anything like this in uh, in Animal Crossing at all. Like a Ouija board. You've got the little pentagrams with these dolls. I love the usage of this light that's just shining right inside your face as soon as you walk in. It's a very, very cool lighting trick. You've got some candles. You've got some incense floating around. Yeah, I think this is uh, it's pretty creepy. Absolutely creepy. I love the Ouija board, though. I think that's really cool. Like, I've never messed around with a Ouija board. Ugh, scary. Okay. So the possum theme is still here. There's three possum. Yeah, that, I knew that was a possum on that little thing. Oh, there's a bloody shirt right over there. Oh, no. You got dolls around the bed, a bloody hoodie. Okay. We haven't seen that picture anywhere. A little science lab, a little frog. Frog on top of there. I mean, this is weird. I mean, I think that if I stumbled across a house like this, I would be afraid and I would walk away. I don't know. What's this? Oh, wow. A ladder. Oh, whoa. Wait a second. Hold on. A ladder? And you could pick up a wetsuit. Why? And you could wear it and go out for a swim. Why would you, why would you want to? Is there something, like, specific? There's some bones over here and a blood stain. Yikes. Is there something specific that I need to swim to? I'm like looking at this map. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't think so. I think everything is most likely able to be visited. That would be cool if there was a secret area that you can um, like swim to, and it's like only there. Like that would be really cool if they implemented something like that. But I don't think so. Okay, so this must be Doctor Kaufman. Oh, hello, a new patient. Uh, not today, but a balloon, or a single red balloon. Alright, let's go inside his, uh, his little office, his little practice. Whoa! Creepy! With the generator running, it totally gives off some eerie vibe. What is this flooring? A construction flooring? the heck? Okay, this is absolutely something that I would see in Silent Hill. Oh my gosh, this is creepy. Look, oh my, well, oh, sorry. <laughs> the leaf, the leaf that jumped out of the pile over there was so scary to me. I don't know, I just got a little jump scared. splatter how is the how is the bush moving what's causing the wind in the room oh so scary I like the broken CPU I like the diplomas oh this is actually very very creepy of a doctor's office yeah and the lighting is just off Whoo! oh what is that? That's so funny. I did not even know you can make these customizations. What in the world? The water's running the shit. The, like the ramshackle wall. I don't even know what's making the sounds, but it's kind of creepy. Whoa. The skeleton Reese and Cyrus, what is going on? Blood 
blood stain on the floor. The skeleton? I don't... It's They're on top of a coffin or like a golden casket? No idea, man. Alright, let's take a look. Whoa! Okay. This is creepy. What is this on the floor? Some medicine. Trash bag. Yeah, this is 100% creepy. You got like this like pile of uh, like blood on the floor. You got a brain on the tray. You've got a cot with like this lamp that's just like directly over it. Those look like body bags. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's creepy. Absolutely creepy. So this is just a, a creepy little little kids room with like zipper T bunny and like the evil version of him. As the bed sheets, you've got some blood stains over here. They're putting a puzzle together of like the, uh, that could be the Dr. Kaufman. The bear. Oh my gosh, the bear though. Hold on, let's look. Look, it's like, it's a really creepy little kid's room. Alright, that bear is very creepy with that bloody handprint. Alright, I like this house a lot. It was very creative. The downstairs was super creative. The abandoned doctor's office was also very creative. Okay, let's look over here. Uh, this looks like someone's house. Hello, what happened to your eye? Not real. Okay. Not real. So a little cafe with some cakes. All right, kind of cool. Oh, you got the zipper magazines. I like the usage of the music for sure. I think the music really sets the mood. Okay, a whole bunch of boxes all over the place. Oh my, all right, so, ooh, dang. Look at this, it's like a blood-stained little Server's outfit, little wait staff outfit. All right. No, oh, it's in the fridge. I can't open the fridge, dang it. Okay. A little lake, and then you sit on the toilet. Mm, I don't know. Doesn't really. <laughs> Maybe when he said not real, these are like. Fantasy? Creepy fantasies? Oh my gosh, the blood stains underneath the uh, the plastic bags. That seems to be a thing, right? We found that out in our cannibal video. The cannibal island that a lot of people like to allude that there may be something inside those bags. I like the sectional. This is actually a cool looking room. Nothing creepy about it. That's awesome. It's very regal with the white furniture. That looks cool. I would replicate that room anywhere. Nothing too scary. But all may not be as it appears. Okay. I like this. Oh, what? Hold on. Is this Zipper's room? This does look like, I don't know, like where Zipper hangs out? Why would he have like the, oh my gosh. Why would he have the bars here? Oh, so weird. Oh, yeah. Very creepy. Zipper T Bunny, man. I love Bunny Day. I don't care what you guys say. The best event in all of Animal Crossing and nothing's topped it. 
Okay, so what do we have here? Oh, look at this little aquatic bar. Oh, that's so cool, actually. Oh my goodness. Yo, this looks legit. I love this. I love this concept where you have like bar stools and you could just kind of, um, you know, hang out. I'm gonna steal that. I'm gonna steal that idea. And the frozen bar? Dang, dude. That looks really cool. Oh, man. All right, well, wasn't really scary, per se. I mean, yeah, there was a couple blood splatters a little bit, but eh, not so much. That person clipping into that lantern is a little creepy. What in the world? Is that a glowing spot in midair? Hold on, what? I thought they fixed that. <laughs> oh, whoa! It's an actual ghost! I don't think I've ever seen a ghost before in Animal Crossing. That is a spirit of a ghost. Dang. Hold the actual phone? I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's so cool. Uh, okay. Okay, so let's, uh, let's move on towards... I think there's only one more little house that we can make out of this area. It's gonna be called Gourmet. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. A Sahara ticket. Okay, a little creepy. The overgrown weeds? Oh my gosh! The use of, like, de the death spinning thing? Oh, man! Alright, I don't think I've ever seen a creepy outdoor circus festival, ever. There's a clown with an axe. What is that, eyeball spaghetti? Oh my gosh, oh, what is that? Yo, that's clearly eyeball spaghetti. Ugh. Okay. The bloody clown. Alright, a little creepy. There's pictures of this dude all over the place here. Gourmet. Why can't I go in? Oh man, that's lame. Like, even if I equip the thing. Although, that's, that's clever. Right? Like, it's a secret house, but the only way that you can go in is um, if you had the, the wetsuit, right? You'd have to swim all the way around here and then enter. But that's not the case. Let me in! I had, it must be a work in progress. I don't really know. Or maybe it's an allusion to something in one of the 20 different Silent Hill games. I don't know. But uh, I'm okay with that. Whatever. I think we saw what there is to see. This crazy little clown area was very, very intriguing to me. Oh, this is this is also very Silent Hill-esque, right? Ooh, spoopy. Wow. What is that? The lifesaver with the uh, with the blood splat on it. Oh my gosh. All right. I think that's going to be the end of the tour. Um, very, very creepy. I would say I had a couple eye poppy moments. Um, I, yeah, I definitely had a couple eye poppy moments. Like, oh my gosh, like what is that? So creepy. So I liked it. I liked it. I wish there was a little bit more. I wish that that blocked off area didn't wasn't blocked off, and who knows? Maybe the author of this entire island will update it in the future so that we can see the gourmet house. But it was very creepy. What did you guys think? Do you guys play the Silent Hill games? Let me know. Was this kind of right up the alley? I'm not really a competent judge when it comes to that stuff, but I'm a competent judge when it comes to scary islands, and this one was a little creepy. I don't know if it was as creepy as our Cannibal Island or the previous Ica Village, but 
the standalone themes were in of, in of itself very very eerie anyway i hope you guys enjoyed it if you enjoyed it definitely smash that like button share the video with a friend and of course stay tuned for even more do you have any spoopy scary dream addresses that you want to send over to me let me know by commenting in the comment section below and likewise i'll see you guys on the next one take care